mathematics classes. It's quite early Saturday morning and Ellie had just woke up from a, an amazing dream. In a dream, Ellie was on a mission to secure her brother. The skills in the clock. Ellie rode her horse through the sand, goes and up the height. Ice mountain. She dug a witch and froze trolls. It was amazing. Ellie couldn't wait to share her dreams, but when she got downstairs, Ellie found her brother eating sugar arts and watching cartoons. Where's Grandma? Ellie asked. Her brother pointed towards the kitten. Ellie knew her grandma would want to hear about her dream. She was a dreamer too. You must have big plans for today after having a dream like that, Grandma said. There's nothing to do but watch cartoons. Ellie says, Like your brother? Grandma shook her head. There's no magic in the TV, but there is magic all around. What magic? Ellie asked. I don't see any. Come now, Ellie, she said. We just need to see more clearly. Grandma lets Ellie pass her brother to an old trunk in the living room. She left the heavy lid and tubes out in an old pair of glasses. Here, she said, stuffing off the lenses. With this and you will see magic. Ellie puts them on and looks around. Everything is a shame, Ellie says. Of course, Grandma realized. Glass said, don't change what you are looking up. You have to be willing to see the magic in order for the glasses to work. Go outside and find the magic. Ellie walked outside. It was a day like every other Saturday. There were cars in the driveways, sprinklers spinning over lots, and people out walking their dogs. It was very normal and very magical. Ellie wanted to go back inside, but she trusted Grandma, so she kept walking. Slowly, everything sniffed. The car became silver. Broke ice monster, the sprinkler shark head, becoming Alex, and changed fountains, and the couples overhead spark, sparkles and hammers, shooting purple power to all the house on the block. The warm sun shone through the pear pines and friends, making everything a dreamy green. In the playground, children rose wheels kept in stone and climbing, iron spar shaped like a rocket ship. The apprentice to be divers and astronaut, and for a moment, really become them. Across from the park, the museum was just opening. Ellie went outside. In the house, spark could to jungle and seven nests, rules by ace to elephant and elephants. People from Elson, service lacing ill stars, rocks and tree to build pop laces and make art. Alice spent a long time walking up, up around her city. It was white and tall, made of glass, cement, and steel. But Alice saw ice skirters work well on warm, soft sand, and marvels of the buildings made out of starters. When Ellie returned home, Grandma was eating lunch in the kitchen. How was it? Grandma asked. Magical. Ellie said. She took out the glasses and handed them back to Grandma. Here, she said. I don't need this anymore. I can see fine. Think about this. What is the no moral of the story? What makes the glasses work for Ellie? What does the picture on the last page tell you about Ellie?